Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my studio, buenas, bienvenidos a mi estudio nuevamente, hoy el día está un poquito más frío, today is a little bit colder and that's why I have some birds in the background so we feel uh, more peaceful, nos sentimos un poquito mejor, eh, no sé cuánto hicieron la vez pasada, no sé si todas las personas que, que están aquí hoy o los que están eh, siguiendo los videos en YouTube, uh, están empezando desde el principio y eso era lo que quería, quería decirles. Si están empezando o si están viendo eh, el video y piensan que van atrasados, recuerden que pueden ir a mi YouTube uh, channel y ahí están todos los videos desde el setup hasta, hasta donde vamos. If you are watching these videos and you want to start your project but you don't know where to start, please go to my YouTube uh, page that is in all the posts that I've been uh, posting in Facebook and you will see every single video in day one so you can follow because right now we are ahead. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did. I know, uh, so we finished last uh, session, we finished this third image. So this is lesson number one, we were talking about, no, I'm sorry, the lesson number one, just for you to, to know if you are, if you are new here, we did all these lines, after having all these pages here, we did all these lines. En la primera lección, nosotros pusimos los papeles juntos, pueden, que pueden ser en diferentes formatos, y trazamos estas líneas libremente. We trace these lines free on the panel, panels or pages. Y después empezamos a trabajar con los colores. Then we started with the colors. So the first lesson was this. La primera lección fue esta, que eh, fue con los verdes y los amarillos. We started mixing yellows and green. And then we jump directly to this page here, to the other corner, where we started working with dark blues and violets, right? And that was the, the following lesson. Then last, uh, this week on Tuesday, we started this piece. So en la primera lección, we trabajamos esa esquina con los verdes y los amarillos. Luego... Saltamos a esta esquina y empezamos a trabajar los violetas y los azules. Y después, este martes pasado, hicimos esta parte. ¿Por qué estamos haciendo esto? Why are we doing this? Uh, because I want you to, 
to, to foreseeing things. I want you to plan ahead. I want you to leave this, this uh, piece of uh, this artwork to talk to you. And the reason for the cual estamos haciendo así y no siguiendo como todo el orden es porque quiero que, que tengan el diálogo como un diálogo con los colores y un diálogo con la, con la obra que están creando eh, y, y, no, y no simplemente hacerlo toda en, de una. So, as you can see, we, this was what we did, did last time, and we were, we started the, 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 our journey, <laughs> nuestro viaje, empezamos nuestro viaje, from blues through, through reds. Empezamos a viajar desde los azules hasta los rojos. And uh, yesterday, I decided to do this piece to show you how I'm going to get to the greens. Esta sería la, la pieza que haríamos hoy y ustedes la van a hacer, pero la hice pensando en que, en que entiendan cómo voy, a, cómo voy a empezar a viajar a través de los azules hacia el verde. So if you see we're traveling from violets and blues through reds and from violets and blues to greens. Tenemos aquí los verdes, we have the greens here. Now we have to manage how to get there, right? And probably we're gonna go from yellows and reds and oranges and more greens here. Seguramente vamos a ir a través de los rojos y los, y los anaranjados eh, y más verdes. But, um, but I wanted you to see what I have in my mind. This is not the way it is supposed to be done, it's my way and, and I just want you to to know how I work. Esta no es una manera oficial de trabajar, es mi manera y les le estoy contando para de pronto los inspira, pero si quieren hacer algo diferente, son free, están, se lo pueden hacer. If you want to do something different, feel free to do it. What I did right now is I did this piece because I see that the greens and the yellows are here. And if I want to travel from blues to greens, well, it's going to be a long a long space until it get here porque because I need to to this is like the beginning of the of the uh, of the yellows right when you mix green uh, when you mix yellow and blue uh, and green you get the blue right so that's why I'm starting to apply greens here you see I, I have some more green greenish colors here and I started working with real green. So, entonces empecé a trabajar desde los azules subiendo, empecé a volverlos un poco más um, eh, eh, más verdes con este turquesa y aquí ya empecé a aplicar un verde verde porque quiero llegar a esos verdes de allá. Y por este lado, entonces empe empecé a trabajar con los rojos, pasando por estos violetas que tienen harto rojo. Ustedes saben que el, el violeta es la combinación del azul y el rojo, pero lo que tengo aquí es, son violetas donde hay mucho rojo, violetas donde hay mucho azul. Entonces aquí empecé a aplicar más y más rojo. Cuando estaba mirando mi pieza desde lo lejos, porque esto es algo que hago en el nudo, I often just step back and see my piece from the distance, uh, but you don't have to come closer. I saw this shape here. You see this shape comes out like that and opens up here and goes down here is like a like a, like a shape I don't know which like kind of a shape leaf. like a drop a big thing or a leaf so I could have I could have continued if I wanted and that's a, that's a suggestion yo podría haber hecho y esta es una sugerencia que ustedes lo tienen hacer continue working with the reds up until here and finish all this with reds and there would be a contrast with this. I decided not to do it. Hubiera podido seguir con los rojos y terminarlos hasta acá, pero decidimos hacerlo porque realmente quiero que la transición del color sea suave. Entonces, paré aquí, pero me di cuenta que tengo figuras que puedo completar. Entonces, lo que quiero hacer en este momento con ustedes es invitarlos a que, a que terminen hoy esta parte con los azules. What I want you to invite, what I want to invite you to do today is Finalize this piece with the blues. Remember to leave some white spaces. Acuérdense de dejar de pronto espacios en blanco como estos y como estos. 
para poder aplicar contrastes de color más adelante. No lo, no lo pinten todo. Si ya lo pintaron todo, es, está correcto, está bien. If you, if you apply color to every single space, that's okay, not a problem. But what I, want, what I would do right now to continue working, I would just step back and try to figure out how I'm going to do this. So, for example, I, I, I finished this corner with red. I'm going to bring my reds. I have my colors here today. Uh, sorry about my desk. <laughs> but I have them divided. These are my blues, my oranges, and reds. Uh, these are the purples and violets, and the greens and the yellows, right? So I will have more yellows here. Soki llegó atrasada a la clase. Okay, Soki, hello. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab just one orange, one red, uh, one green, just to do to do something, just to have like a map in my in my head, and some blue and one blue and one of these violets, just just to plan ahead. So you see, I have all these colors that I've been working with in my hand, just to have a map. So with the red, if I have this red here, I can continue with the red up, or I can just cut the red right here. I don't want the, the red to be cut here. This is my personal decision. Es mi, per, mi decisión personal de que no quiero que el rojo acabe tan cortado aquí. Entonces lo que voy a hacer es que voy a extenderlo probablemente hasta aquí. So then working on my big piece, I'm going to make a soft line going up very soft because I want the red to continue up to here. So this is going to be my red going up to here. And probably a little bit more here. That doesn't mean, eso no quiere decir que todo esto va a ser rojo. No, because remember, how we, you see how we've been doing here? This is a long space that I've been combining three colors here. Este es un espacio largo en el que estaba combinando dos y tres y color, colores. That's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be combining colors. Voy a estar combinando colores. But I want the red to be faded. That's why I'm doing those lines. So that's what I'm doing. With the greens, I started with these greens here. So if I want to continue with greens, I can. I have two options here. I can do this green, continue with just greens up to here, and then from here down, turn this into yellow. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with all this. is going to be green, green. Todo esto va a ser verde, verde, verde hasta aquí. Probablemente hasta acá solamente verdes. Todo esto es verdes. The same way I did all this with blues. Todo esto son verdes. And at this point, I'm going to start changing to yellows. Right? Because this is combination already of yellows and greens. Esto es una vez, ya es una combinación de amarillos y verdes, pero necesito... Quiero tener solamente verdes en algún punto. Because I want to have just greens in one point. So I think this is my area. Because if this is yellows and greens, the yellows are going to be stronger here. This is the area where this yellow fades into greens and this blue fades into greens. So all this area here is going to be green. Which means with this yellow, sorry I forgot my yellow, con el amarillo, so I know that I'm going to continue working with the yellow here and here, these yellows and these greens. But all this area here is going to be 1%, 100% green, right? So this is a combination of blues and greens, green, 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 and then yellows, greens and yellows, and then yellows. All this is going to be yellow, right? So all this part is going to be yellow, I know this is yellow. Or you can write, write it down with little sticky notes. This is yellow, this is green, and my, my yellow ends up here, but all this is going to be green. So all this, all this space is going to be green. So I can just do some lines here so I can see what I'm doing. And remember, I can change colors. So estoy haciendo estas líneas para saber, para tener un mapa en mi mente de que estos son verdes. Pero pueden cambiar, no necesariamente así es que a veces solamente un mapa en mi cabeza, de que todos estos van a ser verdes. Solo verdes por aquí empiezo a mezclar con el amarillo, el amarillo empieza por aquí y después el verde se termina por acá, el verde entra un poco acá. So my green is going to go a little bit into this space here, but it's going to fade 
on yellow. So my yellow area, mi, mi área amarilla, va a ser esto. Estos van a ser puros amarillos. Puros amarillos, puros amarillos. Y aquí tengo el rojo. And my reds are here, which means all this area is going to be orange. Right? Probablemente toda esta área aquí va a ser anaranjada. Porque aquí tengo estos, estos rojos. Entonces estas áreas por aquí van a ser naranjas. Esto va a ser naranja. Y aquí en el centro es donde voy a tener que pensar muy bien qué voy a hacer. Y eso va a pasar ya al final. Puede que los colores se mezclen. Uh, so here in the center, I, I'm going to have to use all the colors or maybe extend a line that goes, for example, blues into this area and obviously the blues with some yellows. We don't know. I don't know. Yo no sé. Realmente no sé. No sé qué va a suceder. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do have clear, in my mind, tengo claro en mi mente que quiero que estos verdes se conviertan en amarillos y estos amarillos se conviertan en naranjas y esto en rojos. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. Entonces, si quieren, con, con sticky notes, con, with, with, con little notes, you can mark down in your head because it's easy to, to forget. Es fácil de olvidar. Si quieren, pongan líneas o escriban. Estos son amarillos, estos son rojos. Uh, and feel free to change that. Siéntanse tranquilos de cambiarlo o decir, en la medida en que van andando, el dibujo les dice otra cosa, háganlo. If uh, down the road you feel something different, then just do it. Don't, don't worry. It, that's the beauty of this. And that's what I want you to, to, to see your colors and talk to, to your work and, and decide. So let your heart tell you what to do. Okay? So uh, what I want you to do, if you're following me, work on this piece here today. Si me están siguiendo, trabajen en esta pieza en azules. Y fíjense que estoy empezando a dejar los violetas afuera. ¿Sí ven? Aquí hay muchos violetas. There's a lot of violets here. But in this piece, there's some violets coming in, just showing a little bit. But I'm replacing those, uh, those violets for green. So at this point, you see there's no, no, no violets, just blues and green. So that's what I want you to do. So choose your colors. And I'm going to give you some minutes to, to choose the colors you're going to be working with here. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que escojan sus colores. Solamente azules y algunos verdes. And I'm going to give you also some minutes to, to, to stay back, step back, see your piece, and try to figure out what you're doing. At least these corners. And try to mark that down. Okay, so if you're ready, I'm going to take this down with me, I am, and I'm going to finish it well, we'll be able to work together on this piece, I'm going to finish this, these pieces, and what I'm just looking at, suffice it is, I want this to be blue, but you see, this is all around the hand, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a transition from, oh, and I have this violet here, so I'm going to continue with this violet. But this is going to turn, probably going to be a darker violet and dark blue. And I want this to change over to orange. I mean, right? 
So I'm gonna make some orange spots here towards the red. Voy a, voy a cambiar, es, voy a, quiero que este espacio tan grande empiece en azules, porque estoy aquí en los azules, y termine en un naranja suavecito acá. Vamos a ver, este es mi plan, puede que cambie. Maybe it changes, I don't know, but this is what I'm looking at right now. And I want this to start in this violet here and then turn to blue here. And I'm gonna apply a bit of the blue here and I'm gonna end up here because this is gonna be this second part. So this is gonna be blue. And I need to decide what color my hand's gonna be. I'm tempted not to do anything with the hand. Tengo que decir qué hacer con la mano. Creo que no la voy a tocar sino hasta el final porque quiero que esta mano, que es mi mano, sea de un color diferente a la mano de mi esposo, porque eso tiene significado, ¿cierto? Porque se supone que somos complemento, somos complemento el uno del otro. We are a complement to each other. So maybe I'm going to apply that to this, and the colors on the hand are going to be complementary colors, so the colors in this hand. Uh, les mandé en una, una imagen a todos donde, donde escribí el significado positivo de los colores, um, eh, que espero que, que tengan presente para que cuando estén coloreando estén pensando en eso. So I hope you are reading or you read this piece in which I, this image that I shared with you today where I'm talking about the positive, positive uh, meanings of the colors and you think about that now that you're coloring because we need strength and hope and nature and all those things. So think about that when you're, when you're coloring. I'm going to start working on this piece. Mm. This is going to be, so I think this color, let me just do something, I think this color is this color. Yes. So make sure when you are going from one page to the other one, that the lines match. Asegúrense que las, las líneas coinciden cuando están pasando de una página a la otra. Si no coinciden perfecto, it's okay. If it's not perfect, it's not a problem. But anytime you are making a transition from one page to the following one, just put them together and continue with the color unless you want the color to be different. Si, van, si quieren que el color se vea igual, pongan las puntitas, apliquen el color con la misma intensidad para que se vea, se vea continuo. A menos que, que no importe que quieran cambiar la intensidad de los colores o quiera que sea diferente porque todo es válido. En este proyecto todo es válido y todo está bien. En este proyecto everything is, is okay. Everything is perfect. I'm going to actually make this darker. And I don't think it's the same color. Okay. I'm going to continue here. to be this darker. I want this to be a darker violet and I'm gonna go back to the other one and I'm gonna make it look the same. And from here I'm going to the blues Acuérdense que cuando hacen los bordes más oscuros, así como estoy haciendo yo, y los, y los suavizan hacia el centro, le dan volumen a las formas. Remember that any time you do the borders darker, like this, as I am doing right now, and just fade them, then you give dimension, you give like a 3D volume. look and volume to the shape. And that's the reason why I do an outline first. Esa es la razón por la cual hago este outline y después lo suavizo hacia el centro. 
Ay, mira, el back here. Voy a terminar esto aquí muy suave porque quiero que se vuelva más azul. Entonces quiero esto más azul. Voy a volver esto más azul con un azul como este. I'm going to turn this into a more bluish color. And stronger here and I want it to fade to, to orange. So I'm going to work on this face there. And this one out here, you see from this level up, I started to apply greens. So maybe I'm going to start working with the greens here. So this is going to be more green. And this is going to be 100% green. Cuando estás en el lápiz, háganlo muy, muy poquitito, porque las minas de color se parten muy fácil. No les saquen una punta muy grande porque se parten solo un poquitito. Esto es más que suficiente. No necesitan la punta, la punta afilada. When you are uh, using this for Pretty sharpening, sharpening. Yeah. no, don't, don't do it a lot. Don't, you don't need a, a long tip because they break very easily. This breaks uh, color, so do it just, just a little bit. I normally use an eye, but I don't want you to do that because if you're not, you don't do it, you don't know how to do it, you, that may be dangerous. So use this, but just a bit, because this is all you need. I don't know if you can see that. No more than this. Somebody wrote to me this morning telling me that the, she was uh, um, allowed to find just a couple of colors, just like the basic, the primary colors, and and that she wouldn't have like different shades of blues or violets. This is the way you do it. You mix the colors with uh, with soft layers. Si alguien me llamó esta mañana y me dijo que no ha podido conseguir colores secundarios y diferentes eh, gamas de azules o de violetas. Pero la manera de lograr esos colores es mezclando esto, haciendo capas suaves de un color y del otro y así consiguen todas los, las eh, tonalidades que quieran. Mm -hmm. Si lo hacen muy retenido, muy fuerte, es difícil, pero si lo hacen suave, y pueden encontrar todo, pueden pasar con dos colores, con un amarillo y un azul, pueden pasar por todos los verdes que quieran, desde el verde hasta el amarillo. Just with a, with a blue and a yellow, you can go through all the, the shades of, of green. And I'm going to go back to my wall because I need this to look the same. Hello, Etienne. Quién es de? Hello, Etienne. Okay, so you can see we're learning to change colors. We're traveling through colors. How you remember the color of this little corner here? It was like a kind of a pink color. Then it became violet, and now it's a darker violet. I want this to be like a dark color to give my hand more, more prominence. And again, I'm going to darken even more this line here to make more, to make the blue more prominent. ¿Se acuerdan cómo ha cambiado este color? Era un poco más rosado, luego se volvió más violeta, y ahora es todavía más azul, y solamente he usado dos colores. Y así lo que hago es que le doy más prominencia a la mano. Cuando la mano esté terminada, se va a ver muy, muy, 
a tener mucha presencia, vas a estar muy prominente. Continúo también con este más oscuro y va a ser más claro al final. Ok. Y ahora continúo con el azul. Suave, muy suave, muy suave, una capa suave para después ir definiendo qué es lo que voy a hacer. Mi primera capa es siempre muy suave porque eso me permite cambiar de tonalidad si yo quiero. My first layer is very, very soft first because that allows me to change things if I want to. And also remember that you can do your strokes in different directions. Acuérdense que pueden hacer sus líneas en dos direcciones y así no se ve el trazo. This line here, now I need to match this. Esto tiene que ser una sola línea también. Entonces tengo que venir acá y terminar de esta manera. Muy, muy suave. Aquí en adelante, so cuando, llego a esta, cuando llego a este borde, as soon as I get to the other page, what I'm doing always is I come back to my, to my main design. I came back to my design and I continue, I need to cross to the other paper. And I do it right away because that, that, that is telling me So, I'm, so it, looks, it, it looks the same, right? Even though if I change, it doesn't matter. I always cross the paper because I want this to belong together. I want, quiero, quiero los dos papeles que se vean iguales. Entonces cuando llego al, al cruce del papel, igual paso al otro lado para que, para que no se vean diferentes después. Y de aquí en adelante continúo el cambio de color. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Y tengo que trabajar todavía mucho más en esto, pero ya empecé a ver azules. Entonces voy a empezar a usar este azul, por ejemplo, aquí veo que este azul, este azul aguamarina me gusta mucho. Entonces voy a usar este aguamarina aquí y va a ser muy bonito porque está cerca y se van a, se, se, se van a, se van a complementar. I'm gonna start, I'm, right now I look at it and I like this color here. So I'm gonna look for this, this uh, color and I'm gonna, work with that color in this corner and I'm gonna be, go down in this direction and see what happens. So from here, So what if you don't have that color? What do you use? What are, which are the basic colors? Um, then you could you could just work with your blues or your greens, or you could add a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow. If you want to create a color like this, you can maybe try try in a different page. That's what I always have a page where I can like try things. But let's try it on my page. So this would be this blue. This I don't know. It's not blue. It's a uh, like a teal kind of color. But what happened if I have, let's just make an experiment. What happened if I have yellow and I have regular blue, these two colors? Let's try. I'm sure it's not gonna be the same, but we can try something. Let's do okay. this one here. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of blue, very, very soft. Very, very soft. Steve Thomas says, very cool, Claudia. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. And then with the yellow, what happens if I add a little bit of yellow on top? It becomes green, you see? I'm going to make it stronger and I'm going to add more 
more blue on top. There you see, it's almost the same color. Can you see this? So now we have from is is to yellow, but I can add more blue. Mm, wow. Yeah. It's not exactly the same, of course, but then this is not is not blue and it's not yellow. It's a combination. It depending on how much yellow you add, so it changes. So if you don't have the color, solamente apliquen capas de color. Y aquí, aquí miren, aquí creamos un verde muy parecido al otro, solamente trabajando con, I'm going to make this stronger, sí, con dos colores primarios, muy, muy simples. So you see, it's not the same, but kind of. So you would have to, you would have to work with, and look, this is even better. Can you come here again? Yes. <laughs> so you see, and this is the blue. And this is the yellow. So you're combining this two and look what you get. So it would have, it is not going to be the same as mine, but you can really find ways to create new colors improvise. from what you have. And improvise. Experiment. And experiment and try and get friends with the colors because that's, that's the idea. That you know them and they will, they will give you options. This going down here, I want this to be very soft. So the transition to those. I want this transition to. I want this to be very soft. I'm doing it very soft here. This color is turning into a very soft color. Here I want it more strong. I love these corners. Very soft. I'm really loving these corners. It's very well saturated of colors. And because I did this, I know now that I have to go back to my wall and make this work. I'm going to paint this and I make this to work. Necesito que esto funcione con la pared. Con los paneles. Yeah. With the rest of the panels. So let's see what we're doing. So. Look at this, it was just blue, right? And I went in with mm. green. So now I need to continue with this green. That's strong. Until it becomes the same color. Very soft, very soft. Okay. So these two colors now belong together, and this is a this this is a different color than this, and different than the blue. I'm sorry, and different than the blue. So what we what I wanted to do is just to apply this corner green just to have a connection. So I'm just creating connections between this corner and this corner, little connections. The same way I created connections with you know there's a connection between this color and this color. It's like your eyes go back from from different spots, right? And that's why I'm just using this corner, but then it will become blue again, and then we'll go in from the blue to the oranges. And I don't want to use more green here because the greens are going up. It's just a connection spot. So that's what we're doing. Like for example, here, we're, we started with the violets and reds, but this blue is, makes connection with this and this, right? But I'm definitely going into the reds. So I'm going to continue working with this color until I'm sure I like what I see. Voy a seguir trabajando con este color hasta que, hasta que me queda como yo quiero. Que los, eh, o sea, lo que quiero es que las transiciones de color no sean tan fuertes. Entonces, mire, ya pasamos de este violeta a este azul, ahora pasamos al verde, y aquí voy a volver al azul. So I went from this violet to blues, and I probably am going to apply more blue here to make it stronger. Went through this green, like a teal kind of color, and then I'm going back to the blues in this area here. But I'm going to stop here because we're working on this piece. Now I know what's happening. 
if you get here, si llegan a un lugar como este, pueden seguir trabajando en esta, en esta página, o pueden poner un sticky note here, o una notica en lápiz y acordarse que era lo que, 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 era lo que visualizaron. You can stop here and write down a little note with your vision. I wanted this to become uh, orange and leave it there and keep working here because we are not working in the whole thing at the same time, right? So once I work here, maybe I forget what I wanted here. That's why I'm doing this line. So, porque hay tanto trabajo ahora como que se nos expandió en tantas direcciones. De pronto se me olvida lo que quería hacer aquí. Por eso puedo hacer notitas o puedo poner mis líneas para acordarme qué era lo que quería hacer. Entonces pongan sticky notes, use sticky notes to write, oh, I saw a green here, I saw a, a red here. So that's what we're doing. So uh, now I need to know what to do with this. This piece, for example, you see this shape is very big. I have a very big shape here. And I already said that I want this to be green. So I'm going to apply a real green on this area and I'm going to make it, I don't know what's going to happen here, but I want this to be green. So I'm going to start working with the, with a real green in this corner. And this will tell me what to do after. Entonces, volvemos a los green, a los verdes. Now we're going back to the greens. So I have here my oranges, and I have here my reds, and my yellows. And this on my blues. At one point it will be a messy table, but it's nice to see where they are. This is kind of in between. I've been using this color as red and as blue, as, as green as blue. He estado usando este color allá y acá y me encanta porque me ha permitido hacer muchas combinaciones. <coughs> Ahora voy a un verde de verdad, a un verde verde. Entonces, eh, este verde me gusta. I'm all those greens. I chose this one to be the green I want here. So voy a empezar con un verde. Y como siempre, hago mi línea para que me quede, me quede no solamente definido mi forma, sino que además me dé volumen. So I start over with this strong line that will give me definition of my shape, but also will allow me to create volume. Y apenas hago eso, apenas tengo esta línea, entonces empiezo suave. Puede ser que al final vuelva y lo haga muy muy fuerte, pero, pero lo hago muy suave al principio. So again, once I have those lines, I just do it very very softly. It doesn't matter if at the end I end up doing something very very like a deep green here, I'm going to do this part very, very softly, slowly. I'm going back to my other page. And that will tell me. So I don't know if you, you notice how anytime I do something, whatever I do tells me what to do next. No sé si se han dado cuenta, pero esto lo estamos haciendo de una manera muy espontánea. Yo lo estoy haciendo de manera muy espontánea. No tengo realmente mucho planeado. Pero... En la medida en que voy haciendo una figura y terminando un color, ese color me dice qué, qué hacer, cuál, cuál debe ser el siguiente paso. Me, me dice qué color usar en la siguiente sección. Descubrí que, que esto, if you have these uh, sticky things, esta plastilina, it's better than the tape, because sometimes the tape gets uh, stuck. Uh, yeah, no, the, the tape, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Rompe el papel. ¿Cómo se dice que lo rompe? Tears the paper. Yeah, tears the paper. So, si pongo esto aquí junto, aquí tengo mi figura. Y ya sé que tengo que continuar. Ya sé que tengo que continuar con este verde. Y de aquí hacia arriba no sé qué va a pasar, pero este verde va aquí por ahora. So I have no idea what's going to happen with this green, but this green comes up here right now. So I apply this very softly. And then... I have the freedom to change it after if I want. Y 
si lo hago en dos direcciones igual entonces puedo eliminar las líneas y puedo volverlo muy una transición muy suave so if I work in two different directions with my lines then the lines disappear okay and this could be from ring and now I have the so what I will probably do is I know that I'm going to keep working with this green and here it's going to change here of course because in these big areas I want different colors. De la misma manera que en estos lugares use diferentes tonos en áreas grandes, voy a hacer lo mismo aquí pero todavía no sé qué va a pasar. It is possible that the same as we did with this green, probably, probably and this is for you to, to think about it and to play with the colors so the transition not just in the shape but also in the whole piece is, is continuous. You can, for example, in this corner use one of these blues here. Just, just a hint of one of these blues here. Entonces para, para que los colores, para que la transición de colores continúe suave, no estamos usando la transición suave solamente en, la, en, las, en las figuras, sino también a lo largo de la pieza. Entonces si yo estoy pasando de estos violetas a los verdes, y aquí estoy los verdes, de pronto puedo poner en esta esquina uno de estos azules, de la misma manera que hice esto, para que haya un poco de diálogo entre esta área y esta. Entonces, si yo estoy trabajando aquí, por ejemplo, en estos verdes, puede que esta esquina o esta sea de este azul, y puedo hacer un azul aquí y continuar con los verdes, de manera que esos azules se comuniquen. Y hay, un, hay una transición muy, muy suave entre las áreas verdes y las azules. Entonces voy a seguir con el verde aquí y seguramente voy a usar algún azul allá arriba, pero esto ya sería la, la siguiente página y yo sé que ustedes todavía están en esta. This is going to be my next page I know you are still working on this one. Remember, I'm not going to color these two spaces on my hand. Remember, acuérdense que voy a dejar mi mano y estos dos espacios blancos por ahora. Esto ya es verde. Voy a hacer otra figura verde aquí. Pero esta figura, si ven, ya se empieza a meter aquí, adentro. Ya se empieza a meter aquí, aquí. Y si, voy a, voy a, estoy como hablando en voz alta. I'm like talking out loud. It's like all my thoughts. So this, this figure is going into the reds. Like emerging from the reds. Esta figura está arrancando, apareciendo desde los rojos. Y esta figura está apareciendo desde los azules. And this, this figure, the shape here is emerging from the blues. So, I think it's going to be very beautiful if there's a high contrast here. So this is going to be blues and greens, for example, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up again some red. So this center is going to be like a, like a very interesting spot where everything is going to be mixed or not, depending on what we do. So, so uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm going to add some green here. I want some green here at the top that probably is going to change after. I'm going to use another kind of green, but I'm going to start with this one. And this I want to be blue, so we can see the transition of the two colors. So I'm going to do this part here with the green. Going down, but just, just the upper part. Solamente la parte de arriba. Voy a colorearla con verde. Va, lo voy a difuminar muy suavemente hacia el blanco porque aquí abajo voy a utilizar un azul. Y esto va a ser solamente la esquina. Entonces esta esquinita la vamos a hacer que desaparezca. Este verde desaparece aquí. Y se va a convertir... No sé todavía en qué. I don't know yet in which color, but I, I'm half clear that I want this to be blue. Which blue? So, what, uh, what I would like to do, this is this, this is turquoise color. So I think it would be beautiful to have a dark blue here. Maybe this color, not, not the darkest, it's too dark, but I think this one is going to work beautifully. And if I do this strong color, this blue, although it's not the darkest, it's going to have nice contrast with this one. So let's do that. I think that blue is this blue. So let's try it. Yeah, that's
like the blue. So I'm going to make this strong line here. It's, it's actually the same color, but because the dark part is here and not here, so you, you're going to be able to see the contrast. Es, es el mismo blue, el mismo azul de esta esquina, pero como lo estamos haciendo tan suave aquí, el contraste va a ser muy bonito. Y aquí lo hago muy suave. Y aquí muy, muy suave. And here is super, super soft because here I'm, 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 I just met with the green. So if I'm using a strong, strong lines here, I need to make sure I'm going softer because here I'm meeting, I'm finding the green. This line can be stronger and softly and slowly it fades into the light blue. So si ven como lo estoy haciendo aquí lo quiero muy oscuro para que haya contraste, pero pero lo empiezo a hacer muy suave, muy suave para que esa transición hacia el verde sea sea casi imperceptible y los dos colores se mezclen. And here the two colors are mixing very very softly. So there's just a little bit of blue here. And then we have transition. Now let's go back there. And I'm gonna make this more bluish. I want this darker. And I can make it darker. You see, the transition is even, even darker, but softer. And I know this is dark blue. So at one point, you might like to put the, ta the pieces on your table. I want. De pronto, en algún momento, quieren poner las las hojas consecutivas en el en su mesa para poder trabajar cómodamente o si lo pueden hacer en la pared aquí también se puede so very softly I'm finishing this and mixing these two colors together I'm going to finish this part after but you see and now I'm getting into the greens but I still have the blues here because I want this to go from the violets to the blues then to the greens so then we're gonna keep working on the green going up. So you're finishing this part here today, and uh, I hope you finished this one. Uh, so you're doing this part, I'm sorry, so, but I hope you can uh, start this one. Also, whatever you get to a corner, do what is, what the continuation so you know what's happening, and you use the same color, the same intensity. So do that as I'm doing here, okay? So you're gonna be finishing this piece today, and I guess you're gonna have things like this, and you're gonna have your little hints here and there, or notes around the, the piece. Uh, so for next time, you, you know what to do, and you have a map. So uh, this is what you're gonna be doing for today. From my, from my end, I'm gonna turn this to see myself. And and then tell me if you have questions. I want to see if you have questions. No questions? So you see how it looks? For now. And please send me, send me questions if you have after, because I know you're going to be working. I'm going to be here. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So please send me your questions so I can answer them. And also, um, if you want, please, please, no, that's, that's a request from me. Please send me your emails, por favor. Comparta las imágenes conmigo. 
Eh, me encantaría, si tienen preguntas, por favor envíenmelas de todas maneras, este, aquí voy a estar, no me voy a ninguna parte. Entonces voy a estar esperando que me escriban y, de, y mándenme sus fotos para compartirlas para, con todo el mundo, porque es lindo saber que, que hay más gente haciendo el mismo trabajo. Es la manera de hacer comunidad que tenemos en esta ciudad. To work in community. If you are following me through the videos on YouTube, si estás siguiendo a través de videos en YouTube, por favor, eh, igual, igual eh, mándenme sus comentarios por YouTube o, 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 o en mi página de Spotify. Si la tienes a la izquierda, de, ¿qué color es la intersección de vía? La inferior izquierda. A ver, miremos esto. En la, esquina, en la esquina superior izquierda, ah, en esta esquina, lo que, lo que yo resolví, lo que tengo en mi mente, es que eh, aquí tenemos verdes, y hay una, aquí hay verdes que van pasando hacia los amarillos, esto se convierte en amarillo aquí en la bajada, por eso tengo esta raya amarilla, y después aquí van a ser amarillos pasando a naranjas, porque aquí ya tenemos los rojos, entonces esta esquina, de aquí van a ser amarillos y naranjas. Uh, can you hear me now? So somebody asked me what what is the plan for this corner at the at the left bottom. So if we have greens and yellows here, these yellows this turns into yellow. That's why I have this yellow line there. And down here I have yellows and oranges because then we have the reds right here. So we're transitioning to the reds, and from the reds we go to the violets, and from the violets we're going up to the blues, which is the page where you're doing right now, and up there the greens. And then we would have to decide what go, what's happening in the center. That's going to be very interesting because it's, uh, it's going to be uh, the point where everything gets together. Let me just uh, do something so I can keep showing you. Wait a second. You have to be patient because... I don't have how to hold this. Wait a second, I'm gonna put this together so you can look at it. So this is where we are right now. Right? So we have more or less the map. Other questions? Okay, so uh, happy drawing. To everyone, um, que, que tengan una feliz eh, fin de semana y dejando y aplicando colores y espero sus comentarios. Un abrazo a todos y nos vemos pronto. Chao.